Wow. I feel a little uncomfortable. I don't know. Am I right for tonight? Am I like fly like that? You know, I'm, check me out, man. Maybe you should have hired a customer for the night. Sounds like a good idea. One phone call away. I'm telling you, <laughs> just one call. There it goes. What it means. Are you this excited or are you just acting it? Like you were seriously excited or something? You think if I went through the trouble? Spending 500 pounds just to get this on this special night, and you ask me if I'm thinking, don't try me, you. <laughs> I could just bust your mouth there. Okay. Huh. All right. What are you talking okay. about? I'm, I'm, Rob, I'm gonna sit here and watch how the whole shit spells out. Well, let me pick my phone call. Hey. Are you going to keep a lady waiting? No! How dare me keep you waiting? Look, I'm sorry. I'm going to be there in a split second. Then, come pick me up, baby. Okay, I'll be there very soon, alright? Later. <laughs> oh, uh oh, player, player. Oh, come on, buddy. I thought you said you've quit playing games. So, who is uh, Lily Spiff? Spiff yeah. is a no spiff. <laughs> She's a nobody. Excuse me? <laughs> Come on, nobody don't do messages, I mean. Especially when it sounds very passionate, you know, when it spells out passion. Give me, give me, give me. Just deal with this quickly. I am. I will see you later. I am. Busy. Come on, shut down, let's go. <laughs> shut down, please. Let's go, let's go. Okay, it's shut down. Yeah. I just don't get it. I mean, he's the one that asked for us to chat tonight, so why is he being so funny? And he says there that he's online, so obviously he's online. Here it comes. <laughs> Trust me. No man can be sent message with this hyper romantic fingers of mine. And we don't really? What does he say? <laughs> Open it. I'm busy right now. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I knew it. I mean, someone told me that this is how these so called superstars behave. Relax. Don't get yourself worked up. He could be on set, you know. Set my fine ass. I mean, <laughs> that's what they always claim I hear. How much does he get to be on set anyway? Derek is a big boy. He makes more than one million per movie. Look, Lily Spiff is a big girl. I'll pay him times two. No, times three. What am I saying? I'll pay him times five of that. If you'll just pay me a little attention. You can't wait to lay your hands on that guy, can you? Oh, he's so cute. Oh, those lips. Ooh, darling, the things I do with lips. <laughs> God forgive me. Are you sure Daddy Darius is not is dropping on us again? He wouldn't dare. Oh, you're going to have to use the new one. Let me help you. Just look at it simple, like this. You put it in like this, and then you tie it. My God. How long is it going to take you to learn how to use? Hello, girl. Yes. I'm on my way. Presley isn't helping me at all. The manager? Why? I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Bye, yeah, uh, bye. Come on, Auntie. That's not fair. I've been ready since. Really? <laughs> well, my dear. You wouldn't call this ready, would you? Presley. It's your shoes. I you say you're ready. I got it. My goodness, was that you? <laughs> pressing the bell like that. Were you trying to break it? 
to home for crying out loud. I'm so disciples. I got his number. Can you just tell me? Well, since you can't remember, I shall remind you. I am Lily Spears. Lily You were suddenly ego. You have forgotten me entirely. No, uh, uh, it's just that. I will, don't get offended. Okay. I was up late last night. And uh, my brain is a little slow, I'm drowsy. Me. Oh, are you in a production? Production? I mean, shooting, isn't that what you guys call it? No. No, not at all. Uh, I'm sorry. Listen, Lady Spiff, where did we meet? That's the governor's daughter. Hmm? Former governor's daughter. I can't hear you. Is someone there with you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, my PA. Okay, so um, you and I have been chatting on the net for a while, and you know, you're my friend. I um, you are Lily, Lily, right? Can I? Oh, would can I? Call um, are you sure you'll call me back, or should I just call you back in an hour? Let's see. Or oh, whatever. Why can't he give me a little attention? Is this how he behaves with his fans? Goodness. Ugh. Come on, Lily. You are not a fan, you're a desperate lover. Whatever. So <laughs> yeah, hello. Uh, hold on, hold on, please. Sir, so you have a call, sir. Um, Melvin, sir. Hello, Melvin. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Victor. Sir. Give me some nice clothes. Put a combination together. And... Alright, sir. Wake me up. Talk forum between the governor and cross section of youths, which you expected to give some kind of credibility and publicize the whole story. Please, no, I'm sorry, just go ahead. Go ahead, please. Is there a caller I need to know? There is nothing you need to know about the caller, it's an irrelevant call. Okay, don't be distracted. Go ahead. I'm not the one being distracted here. Well, then let me deal with my stuff. Let me deal with mine. Just go ahead with why you invited me. I don't think you truly understand the meaning of an artist manager. Yes, I do understand the job of an artist. And that includes the manager not being distracted by an artist's stream of phone calls. Neither is that manager to in his artist's private affairs. Now, Melvin, I'm sure you know your bounds. Can you just go ahead? I heard about BC Coca's melodrama at the Chinese restaurant last yes, night. Yes, I knew you would have heard that. Because you always listen to the bad things. To the bullshit. Keep your ears on the ground for the nonsenses. You know, if that would be all, just let me know so I can just move to some reasonable things, please. I don't have time for all of this. <laughs> Who is uh, Lily Spiff? How do you mean? You mean you? Yeah. Who is she? Oh, my days. 
is one of the richest single lady we have in this country. Her father used to be the governor of Cross River, Donna Smith. You have not. Seriously. Seriously. And this is because she's rich and single and her father probably both reasons. That is why she thinks she can buy my time. Yeah, yeah. She's the one that's been calling you. She's the one that's been calling me. You don't expect me to be calling her. She tells me she's come to Nigeria uh, for holidays simply because of moi. And she's paying you. Come on, man. You're a businessman. Tina! I'm your good old manager. Come on, let me fix a deal. A deal? With whom? Have her number, please. Hell no. I'm not going to give you her number because I don't want no bullshit deal from you. Come on, please. We can make something from... Come on, money talks and bullshit does the remaining things. Come on, man. Give me the girl's goddamn number. A chance, all right? Just forget it. If that is it, I'm out of here. See ya. No, no, come on. Come on. This is um Didi. Who's Didi? Didi. Derek Douglas. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Hi. Um, just uh, hold on. Let me talk. And uh, okay. Are you there? Ah, uh, I'm parked. We can talk now. Um, how are you? How are you feeling? I'm cool. Nice. Nice. And you? Thank you. Thank you. Um, some guy called me. Someone called Melvin. Yeah, yeah, that's my manager. Um, he says you can't make it to Calabar. Is that true? No, no, I can't. You see, I, I, I can't because I need to be doing some stuff, you know. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure he told you I was going to be. In a is, is that a better place? Sure, wherever you say, you know, anytime you say. I just want to meet you. <laughs> Tell you what, uh, Lily, I, I have to go now because somebody's waiting for me. All right? I just wanted to call and let you know just to that I'm ready and willing to meet with you. Okay? Okay. Um, it was really nice talking to you. Thanks for calling. Right on. Have a good one. Oh, Jesus. He just called. <laughs> oh, my God. Everything. She wants in a man. <laughs> Still awake? And I am hungry. It's already past 11 p.m. Press. What am I supposed to do? And I am very. I thought I made quicker oats for you in the evening. And I told you to bring back food from the office. Oh yes, I used to bring food from the office, but if you have noticed for some days now, I haven't done that. Why? Do you have to bring by the office? No, no. I mean. Yes, yes, but I'll sort it out very soon. When? Very soon, firstly. Let's go and see how we can solve your hunger problem. Auntie, do you call Auntie Juliet? Lately, I saw her in my dream. You did? So, what did you dream about now? Come here, big one. Yeah, precisely. Alright, sir. Good. Four will be staying in the suite. 
Okay, so oh, the rest is different. Sir, there yeah? is no problem about the rooms, sir. Okay. But the suite, sir. The VC is still around. No, no, the VC will be checking out today. Alright, sir. I'll then inform the account people to prepare, sir. Just do that exactly, okay? Alright, sir. So, one more thing, sir. The girl on suspension is actually built to resume today. Okay. And she's reported already. I don't know what to do, sir. Mm. Just do whatever you feel like doing, okay? But just make sure you don't get her back. Is that clear? All right, sir. All right, sir. And uh, one more thing. Yes, sir. Please understand the caliber of guests we expect here this evening. And don't do anything that will discredit us. I won't, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you, you sir. There's been a delay. Well, the organizers of the event um, pushed my arrival for tomorrow because they believe that the governor will not be in the state until tomorrow. Which means I arrive tomorrow and the forum will not be happening. It's been pushed for another two days. I spoke with Melvin yesterday and he didn't tell me anything about it. Well, I'm just over a minute ago. That's when I got that phone call. You know, um, Lily. We will meet tomorrow, okay? I'm a bit up here. <laughs> Everything is going down the drain. Um, could you, you know, could we keep our meeting irrespective of what the state government is planning? If, or what happens, we will meet tomorrow, okay? Okay. Um, I'll be here. I promise I'm not going to let you wait for long. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, it's... it's Who's that? Um, it's Mr. Melvin, sir. What up, chap? What's happening? Now, no more tomorrow morning. Melvin, Melvin, please listen to me. I don't like it when you push me around. Can you just make up your mind what you want to do? Just, just make up your mind on the schedule and stop pushing me around. I hate it. Victor, there has been another change of plan. You have to pack everything again. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. I hate this. Let's see. Arrange the bags, the shoes, and hang up my coats. Yes, ma'am. Oh, sorry. Um, let's see. To the reception, and you turn to your right. That's where the restaurant is. Yes, ma'am. And the bar? Oh, it's just, I just sent the restaurant. What is that? A stain? Is that a stain? On the bed sheets? <laughs> My goodness. Look. I expect you to change the bed sheets. Clean the bathroom, clean the bleeding living room, clean under the bed, everywhere, because I will not take dirt. Do you understand me? I do. I do not sleep in filth. Do you understand me? Yes. yes Good. Yes. Brilliant. Oh. It's just too touchy for crying out loud. Just because of a simple small stain she saw on her bed sheet, she branded the whole room unkempt and demanded we clean I hope this supervisor is watching. Because nobody will expect me to work late and they ask me to come back as early as 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. I won't though. Calm down. These kind of people, I love working for them. Anything they ask me to do, I will do. Because finally when I'm leaving, something will enter my pocket and I'll go home smiling. Easy for you to say. Me, with Presley alone at home. That's 
who this Jesus. This one is Vivian Westwood. One of the biggest designers we have. Ah, Gina. One thousand dollars. Huh? I'm serious. Hey, oh, you think I'm lying? I'm not lying, no. Just look at the stuff. Look at it. Feel it, see, see how it is. I felt it. Hey. Gina. Gina, wait this thing for me. Wait. Me, you have booty. Wait, let me see. Are you out of your mind? Gina, just wait. Just wait before she comes. Nobody will you see wait. it. Just wait. Arrange the room. I'm not in this place. Please stay for me now, please. When did this uh, last supplies come in? Um, on 19th, sir. 19th of this Yes, sir. Batman? Yes, ma'am. Um, one minute, please. Are you insane? Come on, go. He's a star. She's obsessed. You're very welcome, sir. Oh, you're very fine, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Room service. 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 Can I help you? Yeah, we met last year in the at Linda Hunter's child's dedication. Linda is my sister. Oh my god! You're not serious! I am. Uh, Where is she? She's in the city right now. She's been here for close to two months. Oh my goodness. You have to take me to her. I will, I will. You too. You didn't change much. No, darling. There we go. That way? Good. Very welcome, sir. Thank you. I hope you have my PS key as well. Oh, certainly, sir. Right on. Yeah. And, uh, Lydia Smith, the ex governor's daughter, is she in? Oh, the ex governor's daughter. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Nice, nice. What's the room number? 215. And yeah, 215. Mine is 219. Yeah. Great. This way, sir. You're right. very welcome. Obsessed. He is everything she wants in a man. He's a cute. She's got money. Yeah, feel. Are you here? Okay. My people will refer to as Nene Bejolo. Look at the figure. Hey, Gina, you're beautiful. Forget the money, no deal. If money they are big, because they shine. Oh, my baby. Wait, let's move it now. What? What? She's back. She's the one. You want to get me into trouble? Help me, help me, help me. Wait, let me check. She's not. Yes, it is. You never made me a 
aware how beautiful you are. Beautiful. Thank you. And obviously you weren't expecting me tonight, so you're getting dressed to meet up with somebody else. I'm sorry to tell you, sorry to interrupt, that man has to wait because I'm here and I'm taking you for dinner right now. Well, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry to you, but I think you should oblige me this request. No, I'm not going to take no for an answer. Where are you going? Madam, madam, madam. You look very beautiful and no one would want to let go. Let me get in on this. Actually, please. Oh, God, I'm sorry, madam. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm Excuse me. Hello? Yeah? Yeah, Melvin. There. Yeah, no time. Yeah. Okay. Alright, man. Okay, now, yeah, come on, I'll sort it out. Your shoes, madam. Have a good one. Alright, thank you. I'm sure they will look full on you. Come on, put them on. Put them on. Really nice shoes. <laughs> you, have a, you have a good taste. Thank you, sir. Great. Come on. <laughs> That's how we are before that gentleman meets me here. Yes. I'll take you away. And then, um, <laughs> let me get a bag down. I think the slim one will be No, I don't know. Hey! Oh, actor! <laughs> I greet! <laughs> I greet, uh, sir! Almost, what do you want here? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, sir. Almost, I, I have to ask a question. What are you doing here? Okay! Now they have a full flash, they say, look at Fufu for Fufu flash drink for you. So I don't put a drink and call. Can you have I mean, a kitchen? Eh? Yeah, for me. Yeah. Like uh, for kitchen like yes, this. Yes, almost. Just go, eh? <laughs> Yay! Almost. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> 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 I like this. Hello, <laughs> Hello, <laughs> 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 I like this one. Hey, 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 My, my you, look yeah. yes. you look seasoned. Nice red pear. They're mine. Nice. nice. Okay, I guess we're almost there. Uh, yes. Bangles, bangles. My, my bangles. You must be beautiful. I see a little tight. <laughs> <My> bangles. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. I believe we're set. Ready to go, sir. Okay, Miss Biff. We go. There we go. We go. We go. All right. So we all set. Right? We go. Miss Biff. <laughs>
okay? I take it like you, the type of person that doesn't like to talk at the dining table. You could at least give me one of your smiles. Um, you... You know, you forced me to come for this dinner, right? Yes, I did. Did I? Yes, 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 you, you did. I think we have to hurry. I don't want to get home later. Home? <laughs> no, 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 I meant we... We have to hurry. Yes, hurry. Okay. We barely just got here. Well, whatever you say. It's your night. I'm at your beck and call. Whatever you want. I see. around. You having us sneaking in and out of the hotel. <laughs> no, of course not. I mean, can we possibly stop talking about this hard issue? Okay. Well, is this not the point where Romeo gets his goodnight kiss? Um, no, you, you can't. Oh, I know. <sighs> yes, me. I do. I want in my life. Oh. 
wanna wake up and see the sun rise on your face. There's a reason I'm crazy. I can't wait for my own room service. Room service. Room service. Room service. Room service. Room service. He's a figure. She is real. Excuse me, madam. Um, madam, no thanks. Sorry. Don't be offended. This thing, I mean the cloth, is it yours to do? Sorry, I mean, is it yours? Now answer me, the two of you. Answer me! You will then. Almost. Sir? Which one of them? Ah, Sana Gina. What kind of language is that? Sorry, sir. It's Gina. Gina, you? You? You have the audacity to wear my dress? I'm sorry. Who do you think you are? My Vivian Westwood? Are you freaking stupid? Goodness gracious, how dare you? Oh. What? Uh, Lily, just take it easy, okay? Just, just please, just give me the leverage to handle this. Fine. And I'll show you I'll handle it adequately. No, no, you. Does she or does she not wear the clothes? I'm sure you can hear me well, young lady. Does she or does she not wear the clothes? Okay. I must open the door. Oh, okay, sir. Oh, sorry, am I interrupting your one? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, sorry for interrupting all of you. Will the three of you get the hell out of here, okay? Yes, uh, then you two, get ready to, to, to get my son on. We're all in trouble with this guest. Yes, Lily? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm Lily. Is she called Lily as well? No, she's Gina. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Lily Stiff, right? I am Lily Smith. Will you stop interrupting? I'm speaking to her. Right? Lily, I'm Derek Wait, for crying out loud! She's a housekeeper here. Ask him. She was supposed to clean my room. She went there, stole my Vivian Weston, wore it, and impersonated me. That's it. That's what I'm trying to make you understand. Can you just wait for a while? Is it too much to ask for? Yes, it is. You can't wait. Look, just meet the terms of our arrangement. That's all I ask. 
You paid me for us to meet, right? So can we meet? Can we go into your room, sit down and chat like normal human beings? No! That's what I'm trying to make you understand. Can I wait for a while? Look, don't get me annoyed, okay? You were paid for a service, so just render it. That's all I ask. You want to get technical? Fine. I'm looking at you, and so are you, Lillian Spiff. What more do you want from somebody you simply just want to meet? What's that for? Miss Spiff. What are you trying to do? You just sexually harassed me. You want to rape me next? Is that what you want to do? Here? No. I'm sorry, okay? I've said it. I am sorry. Fine. Well, I'm sorry too. Okay. Now that we have an understanding, I'm going to go to my room. Try not to stop me or follow me. Because if you do, I'm afraid I have to call in a lawyer. I have a witness. Victor, it's not the car away. Pardon you. I've been fired. Oh God. Jesus. 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 It doesn't matter, please. It was all my fault. Let me just say it to the garage. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm gonna ship you this. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Good, 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 good afternoon, sir. Good day. Good day. Uh, I'm sorry about your friend. I'm fine, sir. I heard she's been expelled. Thank you, sir, sir, sir. Please. Uh, we're very sorry about the embarrassment. We didn't mean to cause such embarrassment towards her. You don't have to apologize about anything. Okay? Thank you, sir. So, where is she? She's gone home? Huh? Can you take me to her house? To her house? Yeah. Yeah, hold on. I've never been so humiliated in the whole of my life. Yes, it is. I mean, look, look let, me, let me talk to him. Thank you. Thank you again. So, 
what happened. You're asking me? You mean your artist didn't tell you? Look, why don't you explain to me that your artist has a penchant for housekeepers? I mean, a thief for that matter. She comes into my hotel suite, wears my designer clothes, poses as me, and has your client running around like a stupid dog. Wait, 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 wait. Just calm down a bit. You're telling me that somebody impersonated you and Derek according to her acquaintance? Both of you get together and think of how you refund my money. Excuse me. Refund? You're permanently excused. Now, I paid for services that weren't rendered. So get my money back. Get out. Well, Melvin, I really don't care what you think. All right? No, no, listen. You need to care what I think. Only if you're ready to pay this woman back a refund. And remember, it should not affect my percentage. Wait, is there something in this deal that I don't know about? Something else that you sign? I'm beginning to wonder. No, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I don't understand. What don't you understand, Melvin? I met my part of the bargain. I was supposed to meet up with the woman. I met up with her. I met my part. Yes? Until she's tried to sexually harass me. Where were you? Look, right? Look, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just beginning to wonder. Look, 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 my friend, you're the one that's got a prestige to protect. I know I have a prestige to protect. Okay, why, are we, why are we engaging ourselves in such desperate girl in this kind of cold war? Listen, we don't need to get ourselves in this media discredit. Who, who is going to face more media discredit? This lady or me? Who? Again, I met my part of the bargain. I was supposed to meet up with her. I did. She tried to rape me. Right, for lack of a better word. Well, who, who faces, well, let's face it. Quote and unquote, she paid a guy just to meet with him. Who has stooped low, if you want to put it that way? Who has more media discredit to face? Uh, uh, the lady or me? If you ask me, I will say it's you. Because, how will I put it? It's just like you're a, you're a gigolo. Come on, she paid you for just a meeting. Look, Melvin, you brought this deal, you fix it because I don't like the way it's going. It's, if my personal life has to be brought to scrutiny, I'm roping you in. Who is it? Lisa, um, where's my boss? Vic! Uh, what's up? Is she ready? Uh, yes, um, she's waiting. Great, just give me, just give me a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> and where are you headed to now? That's none of your business, no. Another place? Where do you think she's going to? Is that another place we can go to and possibly she could be there? Okay, maybe she went to pick her nephew up from school. Do you know where it is? Yes, I know. Come in. There's a reason I'm crazy. I can wait for my own. Okay, 
Are you out of your mind? You took him to my house? You said he says he needed to see you. My God, I can't believe you did that. Wait, 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 wait. It's just it's Lily. Lily, I'm sorry about everything that happened. So we just try and understand. My name is not Lily. My name is Gina. Okay, Gina. I'm sorry about whatever happened. Can we just go somewhere, sit down, have a drink? You know, because pretty soon there's going to be a crowd here. I'm not going anywhere with you. Gina, wait now. Don't Lily. you even tell me anything. I'm just trying to help. I know. You know? So I really need to leave you right now, please. Sir, I, I, I have to go. Uh, yes, um, how are you going to get? Are you going back to the hotel? No, I'm dismissed for the day. I'll just walk to her house. And you don't want to take a taxi? No, no, thank you. I'll catch up with her. Please. I think so. I, I was just trying to be nice. I still don't understand you, Kanzo. I don't. Well, uh, it's no news that my client here has suffered some severe personal and public embarrassment in your hotel on account of your staff's misconduct. Ex-staff, sorry. Ex-staff, whatever. But go in view of the fact that my client here is not satisfied with the, with the management's uh, handling of the matter. So, I'm here to push for the review of the incidents in such a way that would land that culprit to the best appropriate legal reprimand. Otherwise, I mean otherwise, I will be forced to take it out with the management of the hotel in a law court. <laughs> oh, I, I, I still don't understand that. I'm still in the dark. Let me see if I can shed a little light in your darkness. It's quite simple what my lawyer is trying to say. I want that thief prosecuted. If not, I will sue the hotel. And please, when I'm speaking, you keep quiet. Do you understand it now? This, I mean, this is serious movie. Isn't it? It's serious. Isn't it? I thought the deal, the condition of our deal was for her to meet you and get me acquainted. Okay. She's done that. Now there's no refund. Okay, and what did she say? The same feminine thing. Abuse. <sighs> Let me get to the door. I presume that's uh, Victor. So what does she think she can do? Is she going to sue you? Melvin! Who's at the door? Uh, some girl from the hotel, she says she needs to see you urgently. I'm trying to tell her it's a no-no. Okay, uh, st you step aside. Step aside. Let me just see who it is. Come in, come in. For what do you use it? God damn it. For what? The owner of the dress is stolen work. Since she wants to persecute her, we just have to oblige her. Oblige her, my ass. What happened to your policies? I remember some time ago you gave me a sermon about your goddamn policies. Are they non-existent anymore? What happened to them? Does your policy include making yourself ready to use in the hands of desperate and indelicate people like that slitten you call Miss Spiff to be used at the detriment of the defenseless? She's nothing but a frustrated bitch! Calm down, Mr. Douglas, okay? Don't calm me down! 
I'm not ready to calm down. I don't want to calm down. This is not right, and I'm not going to take it. But if you don't want to calm down, I think you just go sort it out with the lady, okay? Miss Spiff. Hell no! I'm not going to say anything to Miss Spiff. I have nothing to do. Melvin, I will be there. I said, give me a minute. I have nothing to do with Miss Spiff. Give me the name of the police station, and I will solve it out with the police. Yes, yes, wait, 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 wait. What? What? What's on your mind? Going to the police? Yes, that's what I'm doing. Get a girl. No, man. You need to go to the meeting. It's in 50 minutes. Reschedule it. What? You heard me. Calm down. Calm down, young lady. Huh? Beside, she's entitled to bed. No. It's not like I'm forcing it on you, but I pray you understand, you know? You understand with us. No. It hasn't come to that. Don't talk like that now. Ah. John. Sean, sir. Go and prepare her bear bond. Okay, sir. Actor. <laughs> Wait till you carry come for us. You know, say, we they like kings. Whoever is going to a king must not come empty handed. Um, well, no problem. Don't worry, officer. We'll, we'll take care of it. We'll go organize something. Abi, you know, say, you people where they come out for television, say. You people where will they watch for television? You are like ego. <laughs> and you know, whoever sees an ego must be happy. Because you don't see ego all the time. You know? <laughs> yes. So, uh, well, something must be arranged, you know? We're talking about the honor of the Spiffs here. We, we can't let them get away with this. I don't know his name. I don't know his rank. All I know is the crap that they're trying to fuss down my throat at the state C or whatever they call it. Even the one I watched last night, where you were taking someone's wife, Abby. Are you now? Yeah, it's me. It's not me. It's me, but it's really not me. It's the character in the movie. Sorry, let me take a call from my hotel. Hello, sir. Shun, sir. No, we've not released her yet, but about to. Uh, Roger. Instruction taken and we've implemented, sir. Thank you, sir. Any development, officer? I'm afraid the call was my AC. In charge of said CID. You know I'm his 2IC and um, second in command. He said we should suspend the bear. What? Why? For what? I don't know. You know the complainant, no be small person. Lawyer, Shabi, you know her now. Yes, I do know her. Oh, Melvin, do you do you do you have that number for uh, CP Daniel? Yes, 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 I do. Let me have it. Let me have it. Yes, yes, I do have it. 0705 Yeah. 3445 Hello? Yes, sir, hi. Good day, sir. Yes, this is Derek Douglas. Daddy, the investigating officer in charge of the case just called me. It seems a thief called some commissioner of police, who then called another the commissioner of police here, and they let me go. No, 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 Daddy. I don't care what people say. I don't care what they think. I don't. She has to be punished. Daddy, I can't believe you're saying that. I mean, I'm being humiliated here, Daddy. She stole from me. I, I, I'm the person that should be apologized to. I deserve an apology. They shouldn't let her go. Okay, Daddy. Thank you. I love you, Daddy. Bye. 
Let's see who has no power. Um, you can sign yes. Hey, 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 hey. Bring it here, bring it here. Give it to me. This is where you're supposed to sign. See it here. Uh, I'm waiting again now. I beg, make one of this. Make I ask my yoga again. Hello, sir. Uh, Shout, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Come, 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 John. I beg, carry your baby and go keep. Uh, yes, sir. Sean, sir. Uh, Ogato. Douglas, Abi. Yes, um, Derek. And Douglas. I beg, make one of no this. Eh? My AC said there is a counter order from the AIG for the bell to be suspended. And the, he said that the case will be transferred to our Zona headquarters facing Monday morning. I beg, I beg, on that. Make one of this. My hand not there again. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me that girl is going to sleep in there till Monday morning? Eh? Is it any big deal? Our cells are clean on daily basis. Uh, D man, let's go. We really don't have time for this. Thank you very much, sir. Man, yeah. we don't have time. We're late. Please, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we don't have time. Let's go. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your call also. Uh, Do something about these girls. I just can't. I just can't let it go. I just can't leave it like that. Look, if you ask me, I will say, let me handle it from now on. Oh yes, you can handle it. I know you're capable. But when will you handle it, Melvin? Today, tomorrow, next week, next month, maybe next year. I still say, let me handle this. You need to freshen up, get some sleep, get up early, live. Come on, the main event is tomorrow evening. Be lively for it. That's the least of my worries right now. Anybody can anchor a scripted program, big deal. I know that. But it's the level of delivery that makes the difference. I can deliver. Okay? I will deliver. It's not an issue. You need to just go home and sleep. You need to be fresh for tomorrow as well. Because you need to figure out how you're going to solve the girl's problem. Let me guess, that's, uh, that's your polite way of asking me to go home. I'm not being polite about it. I'm saying go home, Melvin. Go home. Get some sleep. Good night. I will go. But let me remind you that any artist who is sussy to his manager hits rock bottom and then expected. And I know you know that. The only thing I know, Melvin, is that you haven't responded to my good night. Good night, Melvin. But you know that, though. Good night. <laughs> good night. Tomorrow night. Whatever. I was at your door, I knocked for a few minutes and I realized nobody was in the room because there was no response. I went around in search of you and there you are. I have been analyzing the situation, especially that of today, and I'm thinking to myself, what do you want from this poor girl? What is it? It beats my mind or are you just fond of transferring aggressions and frustrations for no reason. It, is that your habit? You know what? You suck. Oh, I do? A whole lot, trust me. I see. Yes. <laughs> I do. I do. And I can see you love 
to dot on guys that suck. True? And you go to any extent to pay money just to be with such a guy, right? You just love them. And your liking is so deep that you even try to lure one into a forceful sexual act. Shut up. You know, you, you know what? I really don't have to stay here and listen to this crap, okay? You go learn some manners. But you're gonna walk away? Stay, stay, let's talk. Let's have a chat. Dot on me, I suck. Now come back. Let's talk, you cheap thing. Oh man, this is not on my bill. Okay. to leave no. I just had to stop by and thank you for your kindness and hospitality thank you ma'am hope you enjoyed your stay in spite of well I did also I'm dropping all charges against your ex staff really yes oh. really <laughs> I'll stop by the police station and let them know that you know she's free to go thank you so much ma'am I, I, I don't know how I don't know what to say but okay. just to thank you for your benevolence okay I'll settle my accounts on the way out. Don't, don't, don't worry about it, okay? Just enter my office, okay? I'll send the supervisor to print out the bills, okay? Okay. Or so you just wait inside here and they'll, they'll get it for us. And this is for you. But well, this is too much. From my heart. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Let's just enter into my office, okay? Let's, let's wait. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. You're hungry? You want to eat anything? No, no. Well, I think what she really needs, it's a hot bath. You know, she needs to wash down thoroughly. Okay, I'll go run the bath for you. Thank you. Okay, so, you're gonna be fine? Yes. Auntie Juna! Oh! Come here. Oh, look at how cute you look on the shirt. Thank you. 
anzi è misti essi dei veventi. I I was at a friend's place. Is it you? I know you. <laughs> no, you don't know me. Derek took a friend, Auntie. No, no, I'm 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 not Derek. Derek is an actor. I'm your mother's latest friend. You're right. You're a smart boy, right? You know a lot. How are you? I'm fine. You good? What's your name? My name is Grisly. Okay. Grisly, how old are you? I'm nine years old. Nine, nice. You're a big boy. Which class are you in? I'm in grade five, primary six. Nice. Are you a friend of my auntie? Well, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. How come I've never met you? That's because we just met a few days ago. Gina, the bath is ready. Wow. Um, nice. I should go on. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be leaving. I'll stop around again to say hi. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you very, very, very much, sir. I'm very grateful. Big man. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. So the governor is going to be having a press conference at the Meridian Press Center and expected to be there with him. Then after all, we're all going to be heading back here for an interaction forum. And the guests for the forum are gathering at the hall. <sighs> Honorable sir. Yes, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Yes. Okay, sir. No problem. Okay, bye. Okay, Derek. There's going to be a press conference for you. Just some scripted thing. All you need to do is just sing praises of His Excellency about his work in the state. By the way, is the t-shirt here or is it with Victor? Derek. Yeah? Yeah? Is it here? Who? Gina? Uh, who is here? <laughs> okay. Sorry. What is here? <laughs> the t-shirt for the event. Is yours here or is it with Victor? Oh. It's uh... I think it's here. Oh, Victor should know. Victor, where's my t-shirt? How much of my briefing did you get? Why is it stuck in this, your Gina, Tracy, or what I say, Lillian? Which one is it exactly? Sam, true, Sam. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so, <clears throat> where is my t-shirt? And uh, what's the first assignment uh, for today? Is it the one at the conference center? Oh my God. You're stuck in this Georgina, Lillian, Lily thing. Or <laughs> wake up, my friend. Melvin, can you just shut up and bring me up to speed as to what we're doing next? I need to know what is happening tonight. Wear your t-shirt, let's go. By the way, where is your t-shirt? No, where is my t-shirt? I'm no, asking. No, you. do I look like your PA? Victor! First of all, I, I think he has developed feelings for you. Are you out of your mind? No. Why? Who has developed feelings for me? Derek Douglas. As per what now? That I'm prettier than all those sophisticated girls who are just waiting patiently at his beck and call for them to satisfy his quest for womanhood. You want to get me into another trouble? Gina. Gina, when you look at the mirror, what do you see? How do you mean, what do I see? Don't you ever thank God? How? Gina, you're a very beautiful girl. Yes, I know you might not have class and money like those girls, but I tell you, there is something in you that those girls with class and money do not have, that Derek sees every day of his life. First of all, Gina, you're a very good girl. You are homely, you are courteous, and you are responsible. These qualities cannot be compared to that of Miss Piff that can go as ridiculous as paying a man just to be acquainted with him. 
Gina, don't ever think that you are less of anyone. You are Gina Maxwell, a very beautiful young girl. Why are you telling me all this? Because I can see that you are fighting with your complex, your self-esteem and your ego. You are you and that is what makes you different. Thank you very much. Well, I told you. Let me go iron my dress for church. I'll see you. Excuse me. Who's there? Yes, sir. Um, he said you weren't picking your calls. He's crazy. Why would he be calling me at such odd hours of the morning knowing what we did yesterday? He's crazy. What's up? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Where is Derek? I don't care what you do, but listen, our flight is scheduled to leave at 12. Are you kidding me? Doesn't look like I'm kidding. Our show at night shift starts, starts at 6 p.m. So please, 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 don't mess it up for me. Melvin, you need to give me ample time of notification and stop bumping my ass around with schedules. Why are you getting so emotional? Come on, man. You're a businessman. We're business. We're here to make money. Come on. Fuck that. What, what are you packing? What are you packing the whole thing? What, my friend, get up. Let's go, man. Ah. Do I need to drag you off the bed now? Come, give me a hand. Come on, give me. Give me a hand and get some water. Let's pour it in now. Back so early. I thought you came back so. Hi. Hi. Yes. Can I sit down? Yeah, sure, please. <sighs> Thank you. Oh. I. I thought it was Anita and Presley. That's why. Okay. Have they gone out? Yes, yes, they went to church. Well, I came to say hi. Yes, hi, hi. And that I'm leaving with the afternoon's flight. You're. Okay. Yes, okay. I, I know there are several things I want to say, but I just can't fail to mention the Lily Spiff incident. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to talk about it. Yes, you do. You do want to know. You do want to know why I haven't dropped the affinity I developed from the first time I saw you. Even when I realize you are not who I think you were. Fine! Can you stop talking about it now? I mean, can you stop holding me with it? We can't. We can't stop talking. Because you are who I think you should be. 
unattractive, modest, down to earth, cute. And that's exactly who you are. And for me right now, I don't think it really matters or not. But I think I'm gonna say this. You are beautiful. Yeah, I have, sir. Okay, what about my shoes, sneakers? You check the wardrobe? Everything is in the bag. What about my clothes in the laundry? I've collected them, sir. Everything okay. is in that bag. Great. Yeah. So let me call Melvin. In fact, you call Melvin. Right. Let him know that we are ready, all set to go. And if he thinks we're still going to meet the governor before our flight, he should hurry up because we have like 40, 40 minutes, all right? Just Please get me something to drink. All right, sir. Quickly, 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 quickly. Gina told me that you guys went to church. Yes, sir. That's yes, cool. Sir. That's nice. Ah, my phone is ringing. My people are ready. Well, I guess I'll be going now. All right, sir. Thank you. And then make sure you let Gina know that I'm really, truly, truly sorry for whatever happened. It wasn't my intention. I will, sir. Right. Have a safe trip, sir. Yeah. Are you going? Yeah, I'm leaving. Hey, yeah. Uh, it's good to be here, around you. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I left something at the front desk for you. Yeah, yeah. thank you very much. Hi, right. really want to see you again though. Life like this. What way you just put me for your movie? Where can I do it at Kitchen? I go, I go, go door, where? Okay. Hey, sister, like this. Don't realize you don't like her. Come, come. Oh, I know. Yes, I do. Something. 
Thank you. Well, as you can see, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Sure. See you around? See you around. Wait! But what you said this morning when you came visiting, did you mean it? That I love you? I was serious. I am serious. I mean every word I said. He said the flight is in 15 minutes. Tell him I'm not going to fly anymore. Yes. Tell him I've cancelled the trip. What are you doing? Give me the key. Let's go. No! Let's I'm not coming! <laughs> what are you doing? No! Oh, no! Yes, I do!